Hi. Um, if you're watching this video, then this is because you're either thinking about or have purchased uh, a Picascope 2000 series product. And uh, these videos are uh, trying to educate you on the use of these, but also to also maybe reinforce your electronics knowledge as well. So these videos are quite involved. You can actually uh, see them in slightly, totally different uh, ways. You can either see them as, oh, I just want to focus on one particular aspect like uh, oscilloscope probes, but you won't just learn about an oscilloscope probe, you'll learn a lot more about it, about what's involved, what's inside them, why they're so complicated, and their limitations. And this applies to all aspects of the uh, Picascope. Um, you're looking at triggering, you're looking at coupling, and uh, also signal analysis and all this kind of stuff. There are many, many um, uh, little videos that we can make on this, and so this is the start of the journey. I'm a teaching fellow at the University of Leeds, and I've been there for about three years at the time of making this video. Um, I'm a traditionalist. I've been doing embedded system design for 45 years, um, but I only just recently got into education. Um, and uh, what's been really interesting is that COVID came in in 2020 and it's changed education in many respects uh, almost for good in a very, very positive way. So why do I say this? Well, when uh, COVID came through, we uh, had to start doing remote labs, so students had to be working from home. And in order to achieve that, we had to find a way to uh, allow our students to actually do remote labs. And uh, oscilloscopes, um, the traditional oscilloscopes, cost many thousands of pounds. So we couldn't actually hand those out to students. And so what do we use instead? There are quite a few products on the market, but there is actually only one that was actually suitable for students, not only because it was rugged, but it actually felt just like a traditional oscilloscope. And that was the Picascope 2000 series. And so we bought in complete lab kits with electronics and battery power units to do experiments at home. And uh, so the students have actually had this opportunity to uh, develop their skills remotely. And the great thing about it is that rather than having a two hour lab, which is traditionally how uh, the university environment works, what we were able to do is say to students, well, you can take as much time as you want to do your experiments. So rather than actually uh, having a two hour window, not completing the experiment, um, you can actually take as long as you want. And also it allowed some students, uh, I'm sure if you're a student, you'll, you'll know about this, is that some students will sit back and actually maybe not get involved in a lab, whereas other students actually become dominant and actually take over a lab. Whereas this allows students, every single student, the opportunity to have their own kit to be able to develop their own skills in their own time. And the Picascope really, truly developed, uh, allowed that to happen at a really, um, in a very, very cost-effective way. I asked some of my first and second year students if they would comment on what the Picascope, uh, Picascope meant to them. You're now about to see what they feel about the Picascope and how it impacted on their learning. Hi there, I'm Farlis Satchel. My name's Alex. Hi, my name is Elliot Leslie. Hello, my name's Delilah. And I've just finished my second year here at the University of Leeds. I've just finished my first year of the Mechatronics and Robotics course at Leeds University. I'm studying Mechatronics and Robotics at Leeds. And using the Peakscope 2204A really helps my learning um, during my first year of Mechatronics and Robotics Engineering. Originally, when I started electronics, I found oscilloscopes very daunting. However, with the Picoscope device, it just made it easy. It's very easy to use. And you can use it so easily by just plugging it into your laptop and um, plug and play from there. In fact, it's all USB plug and play software. It's a very useful piece of kit which helped us a lot. Having this small, compact, intuitive and easy to use version was um, a big help to me. The fact that the Picotech is so small, compact, makes it so useful just to have around with you at all times whenever you're working on any electronics. I would really recommend it to other students uh, to use, not just for remote learning, but also for using it at home and not having to perhaps go into the labs all the time. We wouldn't be able to do our first year of degree to a high enough standard without it. It's a pleasure to teach uh, students like this. I hope um, that you find these videos educational so that hopefully you'll pick up something that may be of use to you whilst you're at university or even from a, um, learning just at home in, uh, on, in, on your own, okay? But whatever you do, I hope you enjoy these videos and uh, it's been a pleasure to actually uh, make what we're about to make.